Okay, we're meeting again today with Dr. David Fox, a vascular surgeon in New York City. Uh, Dr. Fox, if you would give us a little bit more of the physiology uh, behind the varicose vein uh, case. Sure. Well, it's important to understand that uh, most uh, patients with varicose veins have developed problems with the superficial uh, venous system in the leg. There are uh, three systems of veins in the leg. There's a, a deep uh, venous system, and I have this uh, diagram here to okay. point something these out to you. Um, these are the uh, deep veins in the leg, and those are typically not a cause of uh, problems. Most uh, varicose veins are related to problems that develop in the superficial veins in the leg, such as the uh, great saphenous vein, which runs from the groin uh, down to the ankle and the small saphenous vein which runs uh, down the uh, back of the calf. And what these veins are, are basically uh, muscular tubes. And what the veins do is carry blood from the lower part of the body, from your feet, back up towards your heart. And when the veins are functioning properly, the blood flows in one direction back towards the heart. The blood only flows, flows this way because of a series of one-way valves. And when the, when the vein is working properly, the blood only flows in that direction. Patients who develop varicose veins uh, typically develop problems with the, with the valves. And the condition is called uh, reflux or chronic venous insufficiency. And this can, ha this can develop as a result of the aging process Pregnancy is also an important uh, risk factor for the development of reflux. So the vein is there, the valves are there, but the valves don't close properly. Oftentimes the vein has gotten larger. So when the patient stands, instead of the blood flowing back towards the heart, it flows backwards down towards the legs. Ordinarily there are small branches on the veins, but over with the, the backwards blood flow, uh, a condition called venous hypertension develops, where the pressure in the uh, in the lower in the veins in the lower part of the leg is uh, elevated. So what happens over time is these branches get bigger, and the branches can develop branches, and so what you see beneath the skin are these uh, bulging veins. But the cause of them is this, is the abnormally functioning uh, superficial vein most often the great saphenous vein. In the past, this would be treated with a vein stripping. We would make an incision in the groin, an incision in the lower part of the leg, and uh, basically pull the vein out, do what's called a vein stripping. That required a stay in the hospital. Uh, it was very, was very painful, had a prolonged uh, recovery. Now, we, do a, we can do a procedure called uh, endovenous ablation. And this procedure is done in the office with local anesthesia. And what I do here is using ultrasound guidance, direct a fine laser fiber into the abnormal vein. We inject anesthetic along the path of the vein so there's uh, minimal, if any, discomfort. The laser is then turned on, and the laser is slowly pulled back, and that causes the vein to close down. By closing down the abnormally functioning superficial vein, the varicose veins uh, decrease in size. And the patient has an improvement in the symptoms. There's less uh, pain, aching, itching, what have you. Uh, generally, the uh, bulging veins diminish in size. And for many patients, this is the only treatment that's required. Some patients desire an additional, uh, uh, additional cosmetic work being done. And then other techniques such as microphlebectomy or injection sclerotherapy can be performed to obtain the optimal cosmetic results. Thank you.